Uh, after party AI drinks. Yeah, you can eat. This is the after party, man. Eating a sandwich. I think that's acceptable on this kind of format. I think we could eat a sandwich when we're doing after party. Ooh, look at that. You know what I want to do? I'm talking about the AI. Let's let's see if ChatGPT can write an episode of How to Drink. A whole episode. Write a 15 minute. Oh, the short one sink us. They gotta be longer. Episode. Shut up. <laughs> of the YouTube series. This could be a follow-up episode. To drink. That's what they're making. We're making a follow-up. Oh, here it's already started. A title. Title. How to make a classic margarita. Boring. Introducing introduction music and host walking into a home bar setup. Hey, everybody. Hey, welcome back to How to Drink, where we teach you how to make classic cocktails in the comfort of your own home. Today, we're going to be making one of the most popular and iconic drinks in the world, the margarita. Host shows a variety of ingredients on the counter, including lime juice, tequila, and triple sec. Some of that's around here. We can get it for you. you sure we can. The margarita is a simple yet delicious drink that only requires a few key ingredients. First, we have our lime juice, which gives the drink its tangy and refreshing flavor. Next, we have our tequila, the base spirit of the margarita. And finally, we have our triple sec, which is a type of orange liqueur that adds a subtle sweetness to the drink. All of this is written, except for this part, by ChatGPT. We gotta, you, gotta, you gotta have the stuff. You got limes behind you? Okay. Host starts mixing the ingredients in a shaker. Let me read. To make a margarita, we're going to start by mixing two ounces of tequila. Oh, okay. We're going to start with our tequila. Two ounces of tequila. Uh, one ounce of lime juice. That's the driest, saddest little lime. It's a half an ounce. We're not even there yet. Let's be content. Use what you got. Is there any juice? We got it. There? One ounce of lime juice. <laughs> and half an ounce of, oh my God, this is a glued shut. Half an ounce of 60 proof Hireman Walker uh, triple sec. Sure. It says triple sec. They know my show very well because now the stage direction tells me to take a sip from the shaker. <laughs> and say, hmm, that's the perfect balance of sweet and sour. But we're not done yet. The margarita is traditionally served in a salt-rimmed glass, which has a nice contrast to the flavors of the drink. All right, we're gonna rim this sucker with salt. Um, I'm gonna use the plain salt. Oh, Jesus, just dump it oh out. Oh my God. Listen, you know, you need some salt. You gotta do it right. Uh, okay, we got a piece of lime over here. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate now how to rim a salt with a glass of salt. You're going to take. Did it uh, tell you to do that? It does say. The host Shut demonstrates up. how to rim a glass of salt. That's wild. <laughs> so I'm going to do half of the glass because that's the way I like to do it. And what you do is you want to get some citrus juice on there because that's what glues the salt to it. it. Won't work with water really. And then you work the outside of the glass. And I know you love all that fancy flake and crystalline salt, but like. It's the wrong salt here. Also, regular table salt is the wrong salt here, but it's more right than the other kinds of salt. There's our salt-rimmed glass. I go to bed. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to say words when I did that. Hold on. To rim a glass of salt, you need a small plate of salt. I did that. I did a slate <laughs> instead of a plate. And a lime wedge, first run the lime wedge around the rim of the glass, then dip the rim of the glass into the plate of salt, making sure to coat it evenly. Well, chat GPT, you forgot the crucial piece of information that you don't want to dip it into the salt. You want to touch the outside of it to the salt. Because if you dip it into the salt, you're going to put salt inside of the glass and that's going to ruin the drink. Okay, now I'm supposed to pour the margarita into the salt rimmed glass. Can I scroll up, Meredith? It never told me to add ice or shake. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> awesome. Oh, no, 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 it did. Oh, so sorry. Oh, shake it well to chill the drink. 
and I'm going to assume that to chill the drink implies ice, although it does not say ice. Oh, after ice? Yeah, I misread that. I didn't. I missed that little stage direction. That's all right. If you were a half decent producer, you would have been on top of my ass. Though. I can't read. You took it off my screen. Oh, I didn't realize that. I'm so <laughs> fair point. Fair point. Fair point. That is a fair point. You got. You got. Me. I don't got the tools, Doug. You'll see the tools I have to work with. <laughs> I am glad I waited to shake this until after we got our glass salted because once a drink is shaken, it's got all these air bubbles in it and that's like the life of the drink. You really want to have that in there. Did that shoot up in a really dramatic fashion? I believe it did. I'm so curious how it ends this episode. I mean, this is a fine margarita. <laughs> Just, yeah, I, it's a margarita. I would double the triple sec, and if I was using triple sec instead of Grand Marnier or dry curacao, I might add a drop of sweetness, but not much. Host pours margarita in the salt rim glass, and there you have it. A classic margarita, perfect for a warm summer day or a night out with friends. Host takes a sip <laughs> from the glass and smiles. <laughs> So, give this recipe a try and let us know how you like it. Don't forget to tune in next week for another episode of How to Drink. Cheers! <laughs> Outro music and credits. Credits. We're going to have credits. We're going to, they're running right now. They're running. We've got them. The best credits you've ever seen. Uh, let's see. This be our Patreon list. We'll just run it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Executive producer, Greg. Uh, producer, <laughs> Meredith, uh, director, Greg, uh, writer, ChatGPT, copyright 2023 worldwide. <laughs> Color by Technicolor. I don't think so, but, <laughs> um, I'm gonna put the little IATSE logo on there. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Some STMPT. Well, special thanks. A special thanks to who? Our Patreon list. Special thanks to Patreon. Special thanks to you. <laughs> okay, okay. We've been shooting this episode for two days. Two days! I've been making this episode. <laughs> now I want to go to bed. Sometimes when I talk, I think I sound like Dr. T. <laughs> of Dr. T and the Electric Mayhem. You ever know, you know about Dr. T and the Electric Mayhem? I don't. What? It's the Muppets. The Muppets Band. Dr. Teeth and the Electric oh, Man. I didn't know that was the name. I Doctor. thought his name was Monster. That's the drummer. No. My, Jesus Christ. Where's my knife? No, the drummer is Animal. <laughs> oh, Animal. That's right. The band is Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. Yes. Grew up on different media, Greg. Uh, <laughs> oh, are you like a Teletubbies kid? No, I was too old for that. Good. Damn right. <laughs> I have this bread here. I'm going to try it in a margarita. <laughs> What do you think? That's pretty good. Tequila has a buttery note to it sometimes. And a little salt on that. Alright. <laughs> oh, no. So, I'm a millennial. I know that we love avocado toast, but I, I implore you to try margarita <laughs> toast. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you want to try this, man? Tell me if I'm out of my I fucking you're mind. I think you out of your fucking mind, but I will try it. I think you need food. Human food. Well, that could be true. Oh, just always running into that monitor. There it is. That little bite right there. Yep. That's fucking terrible. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Tabasco is great. I thought it was okay. It's, it tastes like cold, wet bread and yeah, Tabasco but sauce. Cold, wet bread that's been <laughs> dipped in a margarita dressed in Tabasco sauce. You need to eat, my friend. No, I don't. That's a myth. <laughs> so that we are aware. I forget. I'm drunk enough to not feel my face at this point. Um, <laughs> anyway, ChatGPT had me make a margarita.
Oh, it, oh geez. I've had better margaritas, but I've also had worse, so. All right, we gotta get out of this episode so you can This drink is still delicious, but it is really starting to oh. look like Dagobah. <laughs> it is fucking gross. Um, but delicious, so what do it I know? It looks a little bit like a Bloody Mary right now. Those frozen cherries have absorbed all the drink Yeah, sure. Now. They have become quite scrumtralescent. Scrumtralescent. Anyway, uh, this has been a lot. Meredith, this is a lot? I don't know. We don't know what's a lot yet because we don't know what's a lot. We haven't cut any of these together yet. I'm drunk. Meredith is sober. Uh, we are how to drink. Yeah, this sober is the enough. show about making cocktails and how to drink them. And also, we've just been standing around having a nice chat for a little while while I drank a bowl of bourbon and also yeah. a margarita. Also, uh, Chat GPT wrote you an episode that we that we saw through. We did a whole episode that Chat GPT wrote. It <laughs> says right there, outro music and credits. So roll them. See you guys next time on another How to Drink. Goodbye, good night, good luck.